What's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Brokers 101. So this is everything you need to know when, you know, choosing a broker, when considering a broker, and when actually deciding on a broker. So there's a couple that are good and a couple that are bad. I'm going to tell you the different types. Um, I'm actually going to be going in detail uh, about brokers. I know a lot of other courses don't really like to tap into this. They'll just say, you know, choose any broker, but I'm going to give you, you know, information. Some say it might be a little too much information, but, you know, I don't want to leave you guys here with any doubts. And I want you to be educated when it comes to the Forex market. So you just know the lingos and know exactly what's going on. So in reality, there's only two types of brokers. There is called the DD and the NDD. Deal and desk and no deal and desk. Okay. Um, a lot of people like to refer to the deal and desks to market makers, while uh, no deal and desk can further subdivide into straight through processing, which is STP. And a lot of you are familiar with ECN. So, market movers, right? They, I'm sure you've heard that term before, but they create the price. Um, you know, they match with the opposite side and they make most of their money by spreads. Now, you know, I mentioned this in the first level and that's really how they make their money. Uh, a lot of them, you know, other than the lost trades, of course, is that, you know, the spreads is what makes the market makers the market makers. Uh, but essentially what happens is, you know, you place an order and it goes through the deal and desk and they literally just put you to the other side, the opposite side of Bob's trade. That's it. You know, it's not nothing crazy. Straight through processing uh, is usually a fixed spread. OK, so, you, you know, you know, DD is different. So it could, you know, have a five spread or a 10 pip spread. But. In this case, you're always going to have a fixed spread of three or seven, depending on the broker. Um, but the trades go through an inner bank provider. Okay, so what that means is they're not matching you one on one with Bob. There, there's a million other orders out there that as soon as you put your trade, it just straight through processing goes th straight through to the inner bank liquidity provider. Okay. Now, straight through processing with electronic communication network are, you know, they're really similar to just straight through processing. Um, trades are through the clients of the ECN, you know, that could be banks, retailers, head funds. Uh, so it's not just straight through processing where it goes to the liquidity bank, um, you know, this is basically the hybrid of uh, straight through processing and DD, okay? They make most of their money on small commission fees. Uh, per trade, they'll give you a commission fee regardless of, you know, you and winning or closing or whatever. You're still getting charged that commission fee. But really, which one should you choose, okay? Um, you know, it's up to you to decide whether you want tighter spreads but pay a commission per trade or wider spreads and no commission. And let me explain what that means. Um, so now I'm going to just take a look at this chart and you can pause it and look at it. This is basically a little cell box that I've made for you guys to kind of see side by side what the differences are. It makes it really simple. Um, but basically, so for day traders and scalpers, tighter spreads is important because then you just enter and exit within a few pips and that's how you scalpers make your money or day traders, which is like less than 20 pips. Now for long-term traders, the spread doesn't really affect the trade. So in that case, you know, you might want to, you know, include uh, a broker that, you know, is DD, you know, so that way they give you a spread rather than a commission. 
and you know you might start to trade with negative five ten pips but overall you know you're catching 200 pips that five ten pips is not going to mean much and you're not paying a commission rather than you know uh straight through processing ecn where you know they're charging you commission even if you enter or exit in a trade but you know you're getting that five ten pips that you're looking for without you know having to pay uh the spread price that's it for this video and let's go to the next video